Take one. What do you want me to say? What are we doing? We're working on the ring frame today. Okay, and where does this go? In the berth, right? Yep. It goes bow to stern across the berth. Oh, okay. I was like, it does not go full length. And, and this separates basically the, the, the sleeping area, the mattress, and what should be the head. But, but we're gonna try to relocate the head when we when we do this. If all goes well, that'll be a thing. Okay. So what we've done is last night we laid out everything on the plastic here, and I cut pieces to make sure I had plenty of overlap. Um, so we'll glue them all together tonight, and then tomorrow we'll be able to just lay a sheet of glass across here and. Give me that. Why? Go ahead. Okay. Lay a sheet of glass across here. So, yeah, if we can glue all these together tonight, or we'll wave them down, just like we've done a thousand times already, and tomorrow we'll be able to uh, just take one sheet of glass, fiberglass this thing, let it dry, flip it over, do the other side, and then, uh, yeah, that'll be the ring frame. Um, we're holding off on cotton final dimensions on all of the panels until we actually have the bolt flipped over and the first couple of bulkheads in. Um, we're going to make templates at that point. Uh, to try just to be a little bit more accurate. I, I know we have the dimensions from the prints, but uh, I think templates will be a little bit more accurate if there's any waves in the in the, the hall sides or anything like that. So, um, yeah. That's about it. Questions, comments, concerns? Um, and if you're wondering the color difference, why there's a color difference, it's all the same foam, yep. but one is older than the other. Yep. And we've noticed the newer stuff is what more porous a little bit more porous than the older stuff they're both porous in their own effect but the the new batch we got it's the same divinacell h80 but it's a little bit more Ooh, it feels different yeah like you can hear it oh it's so this is so much smoother yeah so i, I don't know what the deal was with that i admit that and as always, we're using Total Boat Resin, two to one with Fast Hardener tonight. Yep. And Why Fast Hardener? Because it's a little bit cooler. Yep, and we don't feel like turning the heater on for 20 minutes. <laughs> if we're being honest. Yep. <laughs> and also, it's a small area that we can do it past. Yep. messiest thing I've seen in a long time. I don't know. I told you I forgot what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what you're doing either. Uh, I'm totally confused. <laughs> <laughs> you were on such a good good streak there for a while and then... That was so I illogical, I know. Uh, it's totally on video too. It's not just like time lapse. Yeah, well. Uh, honey. You know, some days your brain after work is fried. Or your today. brain in general it's is fried. Today, one of those days. Yeah. It's all right. I'll clean it up later with the same though. Thanks. Need more work for me. Good. Ready? Just hold that end down for a sec. Alright, so I'm gonna mix a little bit more thickener with this and we're gonna just fill in the gaps we have. Yeah, I 
guys today we are going to glass the ring frame um it is beautiful out today we are starting to push spring i think today is actually technically the first, first day of spring first day of spring and it's max's birthday you yeah. can barking in the background <laughs> so we're gonna do this and then we're gonna break off and you know kick in for a nice birthday walk later in action as always we are using total vote if you go to totalvote.com and use our code dauntless you will receive 15 percent off limit one use per customer yep all right, and yeah, we're using medium hardener today because the temperature is, like I say, we are pushing 55 degrees right now with the door open. Yay. Uh, sun shining and good to go. So we're doing one layer of glass on this and just a peel ply, and that's it for this panel. Flip it over to the other side. We'll do the other side, same thing, and move on to the last four panels we have of the floors after this. So we're in pretty good shape for spring here, and hopefully soon we'll start uh, getting back out to the boat. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So if you guys noticed we had to shut the door because the side that was in the sun was actually getting way too hot and it actually started gelling up on us. So we had to close the door so we had a little bit more time to, to work the rest of the resin. Um, kinda, I forgot what it was like. Yeah, kind of kind of nuts with the difference between what the sun makes and doesn't. And uh, yeah, It was way hotter over here. Yeah, definitely. So it was like watery on this it's end. It's already set in, up. In the shade it wasn't, so... We'll, uh, we'll let it set for now for a little while and uh, everything looks good other than that. So. Bye. Bye. I know a lot of these videos probably feel like Groundhog Day for you because they definitely do for us. But with every panel that we complete inside of the garage, it's one step closer to the hull being completed. Once it's flipped, we'll be able to just install these and keep going. to start sanding <laughs> said no one ever uh, thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like share and subscribe like share and subscribe what was that <laughs>